in the times of COVID, there was a question that came about. The Kinneret came up to the border, and it was very shallow, and it, it came, it got higher and higher. The question is, when the time was COVID, all the mikvahs were closed. So that if they went to the mikvah, where did they go to the mikvah? They used it, they used to go to the Kinneret, to the sea. You're allowed to go on Shabbos to mikvah. You're allowed to use it in the mikvah, and you're allowed to go to Shabbos to mikvah the sea. But there's one problem. Because the water was very shallow, so they had to walk into the water. And then when it got deeper, then they dipped. When they came back, so they were carrying the water on them. There's a aloha that one is not allowed to walk more than four amos with water on your body. In a Carmelite, the sea is called a Carmelite. One's not allowed to walk. How much is four amos? It's just a little bit more or less than two meters. There's two opinions. The question is, how do those people, that there wasn't a mix, they went to go thing, but they're carrying water. So the, so the answer is like this. If you swim into the water, there's no problem. Only when your body's outside the water, then you're carrying the water. Or if a person, for example, goes into a, a puddle, walks into a puddle of water, and he walks into a puddle of water, so he's because whatever's in the water, that's what he's carrying. Anything that's outside, he's not carrying the water outside. So one's allowed to walk or swim in the water with with a wet body. The only question is when you stand up and you're walking in shallow water, so then that's the problem with walking. So they say, they said. You must come closest that you mustn't be more than two meters away from the, the um, beach. So that way you won't have to carry the water.